Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel and my name's Beetle Knees and yes Beetle is back. I've been off for a couple of weeks, had one or two uh, jobs to get on with and there's been a couple of bank holidays and a coronation and uh, and then I ended up uh, being a little bit ill and still am to be honest. I've uh, got, got some kind of virus and uh, coughing and spluttering but hopefully I can get through uh, half an hour of video just to uh, have a look at the uh, TT Isle of Man Ride on the Edge 3 which uh, I've just got on uh, GeForce Now so I'm actually playing this on GeForce Now using an Xbox controller and um, I'm really excited to uh, to get into this so uh, without further ado let's get on with it Yeah, hi everybody, hope uh, everybody's uh, doing fine. So yes, it's been a couple of weeks since I've uh, done any videos. As I said, been a little bit busy. My wife's been on holiday uh, a little bit and uh, been spending some time with her. I had one or two jobs to do and then, like I said, uh, uh, this this week I was aiming to get back into it earlier this week and uh, just uh, th this virus has, uh, has caught both myself and uh, my better half as well. So uh, we've both been suffering a little bit. So uh, it's, it's not been a bad thing, just... Uh, just couldn't really uh, do a video for, for coughing and snuffling and the rest of it, which I'm sure you uh, people out there don't really want to be uh, listening to. So <laughs> so that's why I've not been on. Uh, if I do have a little coughing uh, fit, I do apologise. Uh, I will apologise now. So that uh, will save me the job uh, later. But uh, yeah, this is the first time of looking at uh, this, uh, this game. I've not had any of the previous uh, two. Uh, in fact, motorbike games, um, although uh, as some of you may know, I, I'm a motorbike, uh, motorbiker myself. Um, I'm not a, a racing type biker. I've, I've never been a speed freak. I'm too risk averse, to be honest. Um, if some of you have seen uh, one of my other videos, I've put a, a, a picture up of, uh, of my current bike, which uh, happens to be a Triumph um, America cruiser style. So... Uh, you know, it's a kind of. I'm you know, more about the journey than uh, than the destination, really. But um, but I do like bikes generally, and I watch bike racing. And uh, yeah, I love it. I love uh, all my motorsport, to be honest. Uh, but when it comes to playing the games, I've never really been uh, particularly great at it. I found it too awkward. And I, I think a lot of it is it's because the bike leans over, and uh, it just it plays with my mind, man. You know, um, it, it's really weird. In a car, you know, the, the horizon is uh, is staying pretty pretty level. And uh, it's not messing about with the orientation and everything, but uh, we're on a bike because you're leaning over. Uh, I mean, in real life, you can sort of move your head slightly to try and keep things uh, in perspective, but uh, on a, a screen, uh, it's not very uh, easy to do that, and um, it just uh, it just confuses me. So uh, we're going to have to see, going to have to see how we uh, how we go on with it. But um, so like I said, this this it really is the first time I have looked at the game. I have not played this at all uh, it is totally fresh um, I meant to do one yesterday but it didn't come out until today actually so uh, on GeForce now at, at least uh, I know it came out the game came out yesterday but uh, but on GeForce now I've only um, I've only just got it on the server today so uh, so here we are so let's uh, let's start off anyway so what so this game is all to say feature please do not exit the game yeah okay that's fine um, so, what are we doing here? We've got a mouse cursor there. Confirm. What's that for? So, join the. No, I don't want to really join that at this current moment in time. So, uh, I must enter a valid email address. Right, okie dokie. Oh, can we can skip, can't we? That's, that's alright. We can skip it. Right, so. Gamma correction, and uh, as you can see, th this truly is the first time I've played it. Um, gamma correction setting, so clearly visible. Um, and we've got barely visible and not visible. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, configure gamma correction. It doesn't really give you any advice on what setting to have, though, does it really? Oh, so, sorry, I'll see, see what it means. Now. It means that one should be clearly visible, 
the middle one you're like okay I've got it now my brain's not working barely visible I'm gonna have it there I think uh, and not visible that's fine so we'll confirm that and uh, what have we here then so uh, physics simulation I'm going to have that as a beginner because like I said never play this um, you know any of these games before to be honest um, the only ones I've had a little bit of a, a crack at in the past are ride I've had a ride game before I think and uh, had a, I think there's a demo of motor GP ones uh, but as I said just couldn't really get on with them I'm, I'm determined to get into this because it's exciting stuff and I like the fact that it goes around an island and uh, all the countryside and everything which appeals to me so it's a bit like uh, riding in in my local area on, on my bike really when we go out on uh, on a weekend sometimes so uh, anyway beginner uh, AI skill we'll leave it at 40 English English yeah that's all fine let's confirm that so right let's see what happens Welcome then to your first season a season is a series of unofficial events that lead to the official event the tourist trophy Okay, so you will learn more about this later on. Okay, First, okay. Let's choose a category and rider. Choose freely because you can change these options at any time. <clears throat> choose freely. Who's that? Somebody freely? Is that Mr. Freely? Choose a rider to start the season. Right, Super Sport, Super Bowl. Well, I'll start off with the Super Sport because I know they will be a little less powerful. So we'll start off with that one, and who have we got here then? So we've got Craig Neve, Davy Todd, and Jamie, Dominic Herbertson, Xavier Dennis, Joey Thompson, Lee Johnston, Brian McCormack, Connor Cummins. Does it? Does it change, apart from the bikes, does it change anything? I know it doesn't, does it? It's just, um, I'm just wondering whether the actual rider's ability came into it, but I'm not so sure it does. I'm just looking, uh, it's just handling, braking, and acceleration, really, isn't it? So, <clears throat> I'm going to choose a bike that handles well, I think. I'm just going to go on that. So, that uh, quick as, um, as we say in the trade, um looks fairly good on the handling doesn't it the uh, ZX6R uh, the Yamaha nearly so John McGuinness what's that one that's a Yami as well Triumph did I see I had to go for a Triumph really didn't I but uh, because my bike's a triumph, but the handling is not great on that. So let's just go back through them again then. So the, the Yamaha seems to be good on the handling. The Kawasaki there. Is that, is that the, that's the same, isn't it? ZX6R. And that one. Let's go for that one. We'll go for Craig. Let's go for Craig. For the it's the first one, isn't it? Let's go for that one. Right. Welcome to the Isle of Man. While exploring the island, you will race in a series of heart-pounding, mandatory events and extra challenges to prepare you for the hardest race of all, the Tourist Trophy. Cool. Play a series of unofficial events to reach the official event, aka the tourist trophy. Okay. <coughs> Challenges are separate from the rest of your progress. You can find them while exploring the island, and you can tackle them at any time, in any order, and as often as you like. Well, by the way, before we move on, if you uh, are enjoying the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos to help the uh, channel move along. 
and uh, I do have a Discord channel as well, I'll put a link in the description, and if you could do all that, it would be really appreciated, thank you very much. That's all for now, feel free to explore at your own pace. Well, thank you very much, I certainly will do. Right, let's try it in third person then. Basic controls, RT to accelerate, okay, let's get on with it. And LS to steer, left stick to steer, okay. Braking using LT. Change camera by pressing RB, okay, cool. Oh. Whoa, that is weird. If you're not a field, I've mi mi missing all the bloody controls here, they're going through too quick. If you're not a field during an event, oh, didn't seem to have a chance to read it. Way too quick on that. Remember guys, expect some crashes. Let's get back to... Uh, what was that? That's a little bit higher that one, isn't it? You see there's a big... Yeah, there we go, look. There's a big delay. I, I think this is the problem I have with uh, bike games. Is that There seems to be this delay in me moving the stick and uh, actually steering. Uh, well, the bike actually turning or leaning. Safe. Not to respawn. Hold LS. Totally missed that. What? what you, you get into like a, a bit of a tank slapper type thing with it. That's that's the only problem with that mode. Let's get back into what's that one like? Such a delay in it. There really is. Right. Can we get back to? Uh, that? Let's try that one again. I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be about practice, isn't it, at the end of the day. I've no racing line on here either, so uh, it's a little awkward to see in the distance. Ooh. Ooh! Ah! Caught me out, that. I just got my wheel on the kerb. We've got the. I'm just looking at the bottom of the screen there. We've got. How do we change? All oh right. Okay. So, how do we change? How do we actually change those? Because they're on three, aren't they? Oh, it's up and down. Right. Okay. So, D-pad left and right to change the selection, and then up and down to change how much effect you want. So we've got ABS traction control. AWS, uh, I can't remember what that stands for now, EBS, Electronic Brake Stability, I don't know, is it Electronic Brake Stability, is that? Can't remember. What's AWS? I can't remember what AWS is. It escapes me for the moment. So what's L1 do? L1 does nothing. RB changes, ah, that, that was the helmet view, wasn't it? Right, okay, that's helmet view. That's without the helmet. And that's kind of tank view, I suppose, isn't it? And then that's bumper view, I suppose you'd call it. The <coughs> front mud guard view, should we call it that? She can go backwards, they've got reverse on these bikes. <coughs> I wonder what this is like. Actually, that's slightly less off-putting than having the bike in front of you, if, if I'm honest. It really is. Yeah. So let's stick with this for now. Oh, 
what, that's a sharp end. Well, that was, actually, it wasn't really sharp, was it? It just caught me out a little bit. I've got too much speed going on. Loving the graphics on this, though. In fact, actually, let's, uh, let's just have a look. So, like I said, guys, I'm on GeForce now, yeah? So, I'm on the ultimate tier. <clears throat> and it's the 4080, RTX 4080. Uh, is it in that one? Yeah, so let's have a look at what we've got here then. So, graphics, um, full screen. So, we've got 34, 38.40, I should say, by 21.60, so 4K. Dynamic resolution is off. Um, don't know let's have that on or off. Let's try it on. 60 FPS then. So yeah, I'll leave it on that. Do I have to? Uh, I don't have to confirm anything there, do I? I've just put the uh, dynamic. What was it? Dynamic? What was that? Dynamic um, resolution. That's right. Oh no, actually, no. We don't want dynamic resolution. No, we don't want that. Because that will change the resolution dependent on uh, how pushed the processor is, I suppose. But on a 4080, I shouldn't really be having any problems. <coughs> Excuse me, you would think. Configuration, very high. Shadow quality, texture quality, high. Yes, yeah, everything, everything is defaulted to very high, to be honest, hasn't it? So, mirror reflection on. So everything's the highest it can be, really. Okay, that's fine then. Post processing. Um, yep, yeah, I think I'll just leave them uh, all as they are. That's good. So that's the settings then. And I think what we will do is. Let's just turn this um, music volume down in the menu, gameplay music, turn that off as well. Might just stick that up a little bit for the menus. Okay, I think that's it, general. What's in there? Oh, that's uh, game setup, isn't it? Right, okay. And what have we got here? We've got photo mode then. Let's have a look, quick look at that. So, oh, look at that, guys. That looks great, doesn't it? Can't go any higher than that, though. Loving that. Absolutely spot on, that, I have to say. Let's see if we can get. A nice shot there. Um, so how do we work? Oh, so you can choose different cameras like that then. <clears throat> oh, cool. Loving the photo mode. Absolutely brilliant. Really good. Let's try to change the, um, the time of no, it's R B and L B, isn't it? That's what we're after. What, what else was on that? So you've got you've got aperture then. So does that give you a live? Yes, it does. It's blurring the background, isn't it? That's good. So that's blurring the background. Which is good. You can change the focal distance as well. And the field of view. Yeah, okay. Roll. Okay, that's nice. Okay. So, lighting then. Exposure, yeah, good. Contrast. Contrast. 
Okay, saturation. Yep. Can't remember it was on, was it? On 50. Chromatic aberration. Grid. Okay. Grain. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we not? Can we change the time of day? That's what. That's what I'm after. Really. Filter. Oh, we've got filters. They're sepia then, right? Okay. Grayscale. Is that grayscale? I can still see colour. Like that, that gives you a nice evening sun kind of effect going off, doesn't it? Oh, some good some good selections on this camera though, guys. <coughs> really like it. Peacock. <laughs> 70s, I like that one. Oh, sunset. Yeah, that's not great though. It's more like uh, it's more like an old 70s photo, isn't it? That retro wave, sandstorm, copper. Quite like that. Then what's the last one? So, oh, low, right, okay. Right, okay. So let's go back to. To that one, and um, let's choose let's choose that red filter, and let's just take a bit of the contrast out of. No, perhaps not. Perhaps that, I like that, that's fine. Right, let's take that then. <clears throat> How do we take it? Oh, so do you have to take that? I'm, I'm just wondering how you actually take the photo. Perhaps, um, perhaps you have to, uh, take it on the system that you are playing it on which is a bit of a problem because it's the same system that I used to uh, to record so just bear with me guys while I just do this let's take that screenshot ah I've left that on haven't I let's get rid of that let's take another one There we go. Cool, right. Let's do a bit more then. Yeah, we're fine. Let's come out of that. Okay, that's that one. Uh, game settings, we've done journal, seasons. Let's get on with this a little bit more. So we've got all the ABSs and things like that all on maximum then. like it's been snowing over there, doesn't it? Ah! Oh, sugar! Once you lose it, oh, that's it. There's certainly a knack to, uh, to racing bikes, definitely. It's so slow to react. Look, I'm off again there. Yes, I am. Oh, I told you there were going to be lots of crashes, didn't I? <laughs> get that kind of a tank slap emotion going off it's frustrating it's 
try another view, let's try that one, see if that works any better for me. And of course it's partly, uh, well, I'm say partly, a lot of it's about actually learning the circuits as well. It's like any racing game, you really need to be learning the circuit so that you know at what speed to uh, approach certain bends. I think I prefer the closer one. Well, that's a nice view down there, isn't it? Off the dirt. It's not a dirt bike. And this is on easy setting. Thought that were a wall there. try one of the other modes then, let's try this one. Actually I don't like that. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the bike moves around so much. Ah oh dear. I really, oops, oh that was a sharp bend that. I really want to play. Um, I really want to play in this mode, but it, it's so awkward. So awkward with the bike moving in front of you. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> Having another little tickly cough. I might have to pack in a little bit. So it's getting quite dry. I did wonder whether it was worth coming on or, or not at all, really, but uh, I thought I'd try and give it a go. My throat might be about to uh, to give up on me. <coughs> yeah, it's going to be difficult this knowing which uh, which viewpoint to go for. But I, I think in any of them, it's just it's a case of practice. But I'm impressed with the uh, the graphics. I do like the graphics. Um, <clears throat> I think they look. Uh, I think they look very good, to be honest. Overall, come on! Oh, I just couldn't save it. We're trying to get back on the road there. Oh, you can spin the camera around while you're riding as well. Oh dear. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to look over my shoulder then, see if anything will come in. That's something I actually, yeah, there aren't any other vehicles about, are there? I've just realised. But... I suppose if you're uh, officially racing round circuits, there's not going to be any other vehicles really. But yeah, it, it's it's nice just to um, just to be able to get on a bike and uh, and ride around the countryside really, as opposed to a, a normal race circuit. That's what I kind of like about this game. You're not on a racing, well, you are on a race track, but it's a, it's a, it's a street track, isn't it? It's a street circuit. 
as it were. <clears throat> but it's a nice flowing one. It's not uh, it's not the type of street circuit around the city where you've got dead sharp corners and stuff, which, uh, funnily enough, I don't actually like. Oh, dearie me. Terrible. And again, look. I just tend to just oversteer all the time, but I can't work it out what it is. I don't know whether you can actually... Can you play around with that at all in the uh, in the control settings? Let's have a look at that. Controls. No, it doesn't seem to give you any option, does it? When you've got... Yeah, you can have a custom setup. But you can't adjust the sensitivity of anything, can you? Which is a bit of a shame. I was rather hoping you could have lessened the uh, amount of input. But no, just going to have to get used to it, I think. But... Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Just got a quick video today just to give it a first look. Um, yeah, quite impressed with it, actually. Um, it's going to take some getting used to. But... Um, but liking what I see, and I will persevere with it. And uh, as I said, this is on GeForce now. I did get it off uh, a certain well-known um, keys uh, store, shall I say. Uh, and uh, it only cost me £24, so uh, pretty chuffed with that. Um, I was looking on the Xbox at the game, and uh, it was looking at costing me £50 on there. So uh, I've got it for less than half price, which I'm pretty chuffed about. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, we will catch you uh, next week for more videos. All being well, hopefully my uh, my coughing has, uh, has stopped, and I can chat for a little bit longer next week. So uh, thanks for being patient, and we will uh, see you soon. Remember to give the um, the video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel and uh, join the discord and as i said we will see you next week so uh, have a good weekend bye for now